Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a Zodiac energy reading for you, Scorpio, for the week of September 26th. Let's get the timer going and let's get right into it for Scorpio. <clears throat> let's get you a moon oracle card. What do you need to release and you and your loved ones are safe? Oh, I love this. Scorpio, you need to release fear. Fear is holding you back right now. So let's get that release. Let's see what we got to do. <clears throat> At the bottom of the deck, balance spirituality and practicality. That's the full moon in Pisces. So yeah, maybe feeling a little emotional and a little fearful. Let's see. Let's get you an animal spirit card. <clears throat> what kind of animal spirit is walking with Scorpio? Oh, the scorpion. <laughs> Very fitting, <laughs> very fitting. You are on fire about something very on guard. I think you're just really fe feeling fearful right now, unsteady. Let's see what that's all about. Definitely with the rabbit on the bottom of the deck there, Scorpio. <clears throat> feeling very scattered. I'm sorry, I've got allergies and it's raining here and yeah. Let's see what's up in the ether for Scorpio. What does Scorpio not see coming, spirit? What does Scorpio not see coming? The Ace of Air. Look at this communication. Very, very clear communication. Something coming in to soothe you. <clears throat> Especially with that unicorn up there in the ether. I love this, Scorpio. A new beginning in communication. A new way to express yourself. And the queen of water. Yeah, look at this on the bottom of the deck. Definitely a new way to express yourself. Love that. Okay. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to pull three lines here. I'm going to do your head space, your heart space, and the foundation or the reason for the reading. And then we'll pull some clarification cards on some energies coming in at you. Let's see. <clears throat> All right, let's see. What are you thinking about? What is on your mind? What is on Scorpio's mind? Spirit, what is Scorpio thinking about? Three of Wands, preparing, planning for the future. <clears throat> planning for these choppy waters to end. You've been really through something here, Scorpio. And I think that's why you're on high guard and why Spirit is asking you to release here because... Whatever you've been planning for, you've planned it long enough. You've thought about it long enough. It's time to do some inspired action in this now and take, take some control over it instead of just wishing for it, waiting for it, using the law of attraction by um, trying to feel your way there. But when you're not there, you can't feel it. So that's what's the missing link there but with the law of attraction with you. You're trying to feel your way to something that you're not feeling yet. So the only way to start feeling that way, like you're approaching your goals and you're getting your goals done here, is to tar start taking some inspired action on it. Yeah, because look at this with the Seven of Swords. This fear is really stealing your power. You're fearing that maybe you're procrastinating here or that you've waited too long or it's too late. And um, that is really stealing your power. It's really stealing the feeling of where you want to be here. So if you want to be in a let's say a career field and you're, you're trying to feel your way there. You're thinking, you're thinking, wouldn't it be nice if this worked? Wouldn't it be nice if money just flowed in easily and effortlessly? Wouldn't it be nice? And that's what you're standing there thinking. Wouldn't it be nice? I would feel so good. I would feel so the universe is hearing that and it gets pushed away a little further and further from you because you're saying it would be nice. Not that it is nice. So find some things in your life today that you can be very, very, very <laughs> grateful for in the now moment. And that'll bring that feeling of success, that feeling of accomplishment, it, even if it's a small menial task, don't procrastinate on it. Make a list of things that you want to get done here because you're all up in your head with the eight of swords. You are all up in your head thinking this can't be done. This it's too overwhelming. I've got too much to do. There's too much to even uh, that I need to even get started with this, with even taking that first leap, that first foot forward, I need to do this. There's always this obstacle in your way that you're thinking about that's stopping you from just moving forward. 
And there's the queen of cups again. So you're not even talking about this. You're not revealing this because you're feeling like this is your fault here. Like you should have gotten up and, and gone. You should have, you should have stopped planning and start going. But I tell you what, do that today. Take your power back today and just do something small that you were determined to do. I don't even care if that's, you know, cleaning out your closet or just something small that you had on your list that I want to get this done. Just do that task, cross it off, have a list that you can cross off so that you can get it out of your head and into uh, accomplishable items here. So yeah, that's wonderful. You have a, a mission here and uh, you're not going to let anything stop you, but you've been thinking about this, daydreaming about this, wishing for this, praying for this for a very long time. And it is your turn now to switch those thoughts into action, turn those thoughts around into inspired action here. Get out of your head with the planning and get it down on paper here. It's going to serve you very well. And like I said, things you can cross off because it's making you feel left out. It's making you feel like you're in fear of missing out here, that you didn't do enough or you didn't prepare enough and you didn't, did, didn't plan enough. And that's just really holding you back. It's the fear that you didn't do enough at this point that's holding you back. It's not the truth. It's only your mind continuing to hold you back, keeping you in this cycle, keeping you in this exclusion mode that you're feeling. So you're feeling very excluded from where you should be, where people thought you'd be, where you thought you'd be. You're feeling excluded from that dream, excluded from that uh, feeling that you're so wanting, that feeling of accomplishment, that feeling of victory here with the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands uh, just goes. She's always inspired to act now. Now it's out of her head and it's into the action of it to make it work. So you are so very close to this. I love this. Five of Cups comes out in your heart space and the lovers. Look at this. So even if this is a relationship that you've been planning for, you've got your whole future planned out, but you're not taking the action in the today to make things happen. You're not um, keeping the promises of today, but you're expecting the promises of tomorrow to work. So just focus more on the now moment, Scorpio. Focus more on what can I do right now in this moment, not something that you can do in the future after your ships come in or it, when this happens then, you know, don't, don't fall into that. This is, this is it. This is the now moment. This is the present that you need to really focus on. It is a gift. So, <laughs> but this contract is very intense. You have an intense soulmate contract coming in here in the heart space. Somebody who's really trying to find you and where you're going. They, they need you to have this settled first though. They need you to get out of your head and share with them more of what your plan is. If you're with somebody, if you're not with somebody, then that's what you're longing for. You're longing for this really deep connection where you're feeling each other. Again, it's all about the feelings for you right now, Scorpio. So you're in this real um, intense mode to connect with somebody and have it just be felt. You don't have to speak about it. You don't have to analyze it. So you've done so much analyzing in your life path here and what what is serving you well and what is not. You've done all of this. You've done all of the preparing. You're done preparing now. Now it's time to go with this. So if this um, soulmate is in your life already, or if the soulmate has not entered it here yet, the only blockage is your fear about it is your fear of the future here. You're so afraid that it's not going to work out the way you've planned it to work out. And Scorpio, trust me, it's not going to. There are so many surprises in store for you for your future that are going to make you very happy. So you're preparing for the worst and spirit wants you to prepare for the best the best life you can have, the best foot forward you can take. You've done the planning. You've done it. So it's time to walk away from that fear. Look at this with the 10 of swords. You felt betrayed by this, by this soulmate here. You're feeling very betrayed by the universe when it comes to soulmate energy and connections that know you to your very core here, that know who you are. Even when you're putting on a facade and a mask here, you want somebody to know who you are behind the scenes here. And that can't happen until you know, until you are very secure in what you're thinking here and what you're planning here. So just get real, real solid in your stance here of what the now is bringing you, what you can do right now in this, in this moment to walk away from this betrayal feeling. Cause it does feel like you're feeling betrayed from the universe. Like they're not giving you what you uh, felt here, what you wanted to have happen here. You've been using the law of attraction to get, 
to get what you want here, to have it in your hand, to not just keep saying it's coming, it's coming. It's like you're watching tarot card readings too, to see when is this going to happen. And that that's not even telling you because it has to happen within you. It has to happen within your own mind. You have to have that shift of all is well now. I am happy right now with exactly what I have. I have everything I need right now. And, and get out of that future, I'll be happy when. Because it just makes you feel alone and betrayed here. It makes you feel like you're never going to connect with somebody. And it's not the case. You just have to reconnect with your own thoughts here and clear out the the uh, fear, clear out the clutter here in your mind space of um, how it should be or where you should be or comparing yourself to others and saying, well, how, they only got there because they had it easy. They grew up easy. There's all these excuses that you're coming up with of why others made it. And I'll tell you what, the others made it because they took that inspired action step. They took that daydream, that dream of theirs, and they moved with it. They they did it. It was their goal to have. It was their dream to have. And they made that happen. You are right on the bouncing point of this. You're right on the precipice of making this happen for yourself. Oh, look at these cards that flipped over and I didn't even notice. But um, it's just a matter of shifting your thoughts here, shifting your ideas of what makes you happy. Even you, I'm, I'm not even sure that you know exactly what you want here because you're preparing for something. You're preparing for this bright, bright future for this happy, abundant future with money just flowing in and partners, a, a real solid connection here that's there for you anyway. I mean, it is your destiny. The lovers comes out as a destined relationship here, but you're the only one holding yourself back from that. It is not the universe. It is not the angels. It's you, Scorpio, holding yourself back from this happy dream because you feel like you're not quite prepared, that you haven't readied yourself or you haven't released enough or you haven't processed enough of the old things that that got you, that triggered you. So some of the things can just be walked away from, can just be let go of like this 10 of swords in this tarot deck, you know, in the, in the, uh, in the uh, Rider weight deck, there's 10 swords plunged into your back and you're literally bleeding out in this deck in the light seers tarot. She's simply walking away with spirit, with her dignity, with her pride, with her knowing where she's going. She knows exactly where she's going. She's not letting that fear of abandonment, that fear of rejection hold her back because she's already been through that. So she understands that it's all up to her. It's all up to her. It's not up to anyone else or even the angels. You, the angels give us the tools and the, the um, answers that we need, but this is up to you. This is your life path to have. So you're claiming it here with the Ace of Cups, but look at how you have become complacent and just thinking it's never going to happen. You've given up. You've given up on the law of attraction because you felt like you were there. You felt like, okay, I'm going to write myself a $10 million check. And then in, uh, you know, in the future, I'm going to be able to cash that. And so you, you were so busy writing the check to yourself that you forgot to take the inspired action to make that happen, to have the right conversations, to get out in the world and speak to people who have also done that without your judgment on them of they had it easier than you. There's always this excuse that, yeah, but they had it easier than me. So it's time to get out of that energy here. You are about to burst into the heavens here with your, with your uh, passion and your dreams and your hopes and your planning and preparing. You've done so much of this, but you're very guarded. You're very guarded. You don't let a whole lot of people in because of that deception and because of that feeling that you're not getting what you're asking for, that it's not working, that your, your prayers are not being answered here. So you're feeling very unheard here when it comes to the angels and who hasn't been sitting in this energy before. But I got to tell you, it is all up in your mind here. This feeling of being deceived, this feeling of being betrayed, this feeling of not getting what others have gotten. It, it's really up in your mind here. Don't pay attention to anyone else here, Scorpio. This is about you and your life's path and this soulmate wanting to really connect with you and wanting to um, have this dream of theirs too. They're out there preparing and they're out there planning or they might even be with you and they're thinking, boy, I just can't seem to get through the Scorpio. I can't seem to get through. No matter what I try to plan, they've got their own plan. And I'm included in it, but it's not my plan. It's not our plan. They want our plan. They don't want just your plan. So 
That's interesting. That's very interesting. Look at the foundation though, the three of cups, the celebration, the, the time to go now, the time to move, the time to use the resources you have, the friends you have, the connections you have right now and deepen those, make those the relationships you want in your life. Be the change you want to see Scorpio. And that's going to serve you so well, because as soon as you shift into being the person you want to be, instead of just talking about who you want to be, but being who you want to be, that opens up these connections to really enrich in with you, to really see you, to really hear you because they feel this wall from you. They feel this blockage of fear from you. And so they can't penetrate through it. And they really, really want to. They really do. What else in the foundation for Scorpio? What else in the foundation for Scorpio? Page of Wands. Look at this inspired action that you are about to do. You're about to move. You're about to go. All of those uh, fearful thoughts are about to go away from you. So you do. You change your mind. You change your outcome here because you're feeling it in the now moment. You're not just pretending to feel it. You're not faking it to make it, Scorpio. You are feeling it. You're feeling it to reel it in, to really make it happen. And then you're taking that first inspired action move, that first step. Somebody from your past is really thinking about you. They are, you are heavy on their mind. There's a connection there. When you're thinking of them, they're thinking of you and they want to see you um, happy and joyful. It's how you used to be. They're thinking about you. And when you were when you were uh, growing and learning and um, not taking it all so seriously, not thinking it all so dire and so crucial that you do it right now. It's like you've got, you feel this clock ticking on you and I'm not sure where that's coming from, but it's time to throw that clock away. There is no day but today. There is no time but right now to do anything we want to do. So just put the guard down a little bit, but you're connecting with someone from your past. Um, and that's beautiful. That's beautiful. You could even be having dreams about this person or just daydreaming about them. But, uh, when you're doing that, they're, they're doing the same exact thing wherever they are. So that's really beautiful, really sweet connection from the past coming in. What else? What else in the foundation for Scorpio? There's that heartbreak. There's that. It's not enough though. It's not fair. It's not fair. Scorpio has been saying, why didn't I get that lucky break? Why was it them? And, and you're not celebrating other successes because you're thinking it should be me. I've worked so hard for this and it absolutely should be. It absolutely should be you. You should not be feeling this sorrowful when you have so much to be grateful for in your life right now. But it's just this looking away from it. You're not seeing it. You see how she's looking away from these, from the abundance that spirit's been trying to give to her, but she's not there yet. She's not emotionally there yet to receive it. She's looking away from it because she's thinking it's not happening for me. Look at this. I'm staring at those three empty cups. They've always been empty cups. No matter what I do, they're still empty cups. She's not seeing what the universe has been trying to give her all along. As soon as she turns her head and she says, you know what? I'm grateful for this today. I am so grateful for this. Thank you, spirit, for this. She starts to catch a glimmer of this rainbow over here. And it just catches her eye. And then she turns her head and she turns out of that heartbreak, out of that um, sorrow, that grief that's been plaguing. So yeah, this is just a change of thought for you. This is absolutely a change of thought for you. Wow. And there's some intense, intense soulmate energy wanting to break through, wanting to come in, wanting to get this going. <laughs> Even if you've been together a very long time, they're patiently waiting for you. They want to get this going. The Hermit, the Chariot, and the King of Cups. Look at this. You've been introspective. You have tried to, you've just tried to fix yourself. You've just thought, I'm going to elevate above it. I'm going to release. I'm going to process. I'm going to look at my dark shadow, and I'm going to defeat it. And you have. You did. You're done with that, though. Move on from that. You, now you take all that negativity, and you mix it with the positivity from today. What's happened good today? What can I laugh at today? who uh, smiled at me today. And you start telling the stories of little tiny things that lifted your heart here and you're merging the negative and the positive. That's a big time merge for you happening here, but you're holding it in still. You're not revealing how you're um, feeling so guarded. You're just not revealing that. You're just keeping to yourself and not really talking too much, but 
that's about to change as soon as you shift your change your thoughts here and change your beliefs of how to accomplish things your beliefs of how it has to be your your expectations of those around you and and how why they failed or why they've succeeded and the expectations on yourself of why things are not happening the way they're happening it's because of this fear holding you back this fear of letting it all go truly walking away from the betrayal that's all this is for you scorpio nine of wands the wounded warrior so there's some disgruntled people around you as well maybe in the workplace maybe in the same field that you're doing Things are crashing down around them. They are coming to you with these sorrows, with these woes. There's people that really come to you with some deep emotional things here that are going on with them. And you always help and uplift them as you do. You're a very awesome spiritual teacher here. <laughs> you read cards. You you are a mediator. You are a, uh, a psychic for sure. And you help uplift people who have been in the dark, who have been in the places that you have visited here and you have won. So you're really helping the collective. And that is just absolutely beautiful. Boy, you're just on the precipice of something really, really big here. People are watching you. People are listening to you on social media. I think you are some kind of psychic healer here that people are really, really uh, tuning in now. All of a sudden they're turning their head and they're listening. I think you were feeling a little unheard. Well, I know you were. I know you were feeling unheard, but all of a sudden now people are turning their heads and listening to Scorpio and um, offering you things. A lot of, a lot of offers coming in for you, a, a whole lot of offers coming in for you and making you feel less isolated and alone. You've been feeling very, very alone. So look at the chariot coming in for them too. So they really want to get out of that energy as well. They're looking to you to help them out of that energy, to uplift them out. They want out. <laughs> <laughs> Empress energy being presented to you on that Ten of Swords. So you're going to get some kind of um, some kind of long time apology. Maybe this person that is thinking about you and you're thinking about them. Maybe there was some kind of division there or some kind of something between you. And that's about to get resolved. You're going to have closure on that. And it's going to feel really good to you. And it's going to really lift your heart up from the feeling of being deceived or being um, left out of something, really excluded from something. You weren't told something that others knew about. And that just made you feel horrible. Well, who wouldn't make that, you know? So there's some kind of like family secret that maybe you were excluded from and, and you found out later and you were like, why was I the only one excluded? It feels that kind of isolation, like that kind of exclusion that you've been maybe trying to process or, or something like this and you've been trying to release it. But you, you're going to, don't let that hold you back. It's, it's, uh, it was just a lesson you needed to learn so that you could help others out of this dark place, out of this uh, confusion that they're in. So that was a, uh, a test. That you passed. <laughs> I hate that word, but it does seem to be the case. <laughs> what else? Oh my God, the magician energy coming into you. So spirit is presenting you with this new beginning, this new way of using the law of attraction to your benefit and really getting what you want now, really going for the inspired action to make it work, not just daydreaming about it or wishing it to be in existence. You're feeling that it is in existence. So when you're, when you're appreciating the things of today, the things that you can hold in your hand right now and say, boy, I'm so, I'm so grateful for this crystal. It's so beautiful. Look at that. Look at the sparkle on it. And, and you just start finding little things to be grateful for like that. It just starts building momentum in your psyche, in your mind, in your heart and that's what gets the ball rolling on look at all i have to be grateful for and then it just so much comes in to be grateful for it's like spirit is like now you got it now you got it <laughs> eight of cups really walking away from some emotional distress too they're allowing you to walk away it doesn't matter how old you are how much you put into this how much uh it doesn't matter they're allowing you this this new beginning here look at this with the 10 of swords energy people have really felt this what you have felt in the past here you've got 10 of swords they've got 10 of swords so there's a big feeling of betrayal here deception at the very core of this so whoever you're dealing with it looks like this soulmate energy or this uh, real real strong strong connection that is either coming for you or is in your life right now but it's somebody you knew from your past so i feel like it's just some, some kind of reconnection with someone from your past they're coming to you with the same kind of story with the same kind of heartbreak and the same kind of feelings of deception here so that's what sparks this relationship in the first place is you're coming from the same pain 
but do not, do not wallow in that pain together. Do not commiserate together about the pain you've been through. How can you uplift each other? How can you look to a brighter beginning? How can you look to a connection that is very solid and trustworthy that you can count on that is loyal, that will not break your heart? Here's the lovers again in the foundation. So this is definitely a soulmate coming in strong to this reading here. And they've been just as betrayed. They feel just as betrayed as you do. So that is very interesting, this energy coming in at you. Let's see what this heartbreak is about. Queen of Swords. So it was words. It was words that really broke their heart too as well. So something, some kind of real betrayal here. Something, some kind of big, big betrayal here. Big betrayal with the tower up there too. They're coming to you with. And uh, yeah, you two are going to really have a lot in common. You're going to really be talking about this. Maybe some childhood wounds, maybe some I, I don't even know, but you you understand each other to a to a, a depth that no one has understood you before, and and vice versa with them as well. You understand them because you understand their pain, and you you two are connecting in this pain body. But I tell you what, Scorpio, it, it's awesome that you have this soulmate connection. You will always have this soulmate connection. It's not going anywhere. If you haven't met up yet, uh, again, I think you do know this person. Well, I know you do. Um, you will, you will meet up with them again and you're going to start talking and they're going to start telling you all of these horror stories and you're going to really relate to it because you've been through a lot of the same betrayals and deception here. And you didn't realize that they had been going through the same thing as you. So you two do that. You two process it. You two talk about it. You two release it. Do not sit in this energy just to keep telling each other your, your horror stories. Now it's time to get out of that and to move into some new stories, some new memories, some new, some new trust. You need to be able to trust this person and they need to be able to trust you. So when you build that trust foundation, you two will really start taking off on some new memories, what you've both been planning for, but you've been too held back by fear of, of hmm, connection maybe, or, or uh, betrayal. Betrayal. That's what you've both been afraid of is betrayal is, is people telling you one thing and doing something else behind your back. You're both afraid of this and you're both perfect for each other because you both understand it and you will never do that to the other and they will never do that to you. So good for you. And the five of wands, conflict, conflict and competition. This is you looking at the others and, and judging yourself by way, what, where they are. And I need you to stop doing that, Scorpio. Stop doing that. There are people watching you that are really jealous of you and wish they could be where you are. Don't forget that there's, you're always somebody's hero. So we all are. So don't forget that. Do not forget that. There's people looking at you wishing they had what you had. They, they do. They do. I can see it right here. So just remember that while you're looking at others saying, I, I, that should be me. There's people looking at you saying that should be me. So, so let it go. Let the comparison go. Comparison really is a thief of joy. So just let it go. Oh my God, before we go, Scorpio, look at this, the fool, the leap of faith, the leap of faith to trust this other person. This other person needs your trust and you need theirs. There's some kind of really solid relationship that is blooming for you. That is a reconnection of some kind that proves that it's okay to trust. It's okay to trust. And not only is it okay to trust, when we feel safe and secure and solid in our lives and where we're going and we take these leap of faith without even knowing what's ahead for us, we just know it feels good. Oh my God, the sky's the limit. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see where this takes you. This leap of faith takes you and this energy that really does need your help coming into you. I mean, they really need your help here to heal their heart. So, and vice versa. All right. All right. If you like this reading, Scorpio, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. If you'd like a personal reading from me, my email address is in the description box below. I hope you have a fantastical week and I will definitely tune in soon.